following video, I will show you how to use the automatic sell feature when disposing of assets. I will also show you how to report the gain or loss from the disposition on Form 4797 when you are in a pass-through return and disposing of an asset for which the taxpayer claimed a prior year Section 179 deduction. The automatic sell feature carries the date placed in service, date sold, asset cost, and total depreciation to a corresponding entry made on the worksheets for Schedule D or Forms 4797, 4684, 8824, and 6252 for each asset sold. You can use the automatic sell feature when selling a bulk of assets for one sales price, if all assets have the same holding period and property classification. Enter the same sale number on each asset that is included in the bulk sale on the depreciation worksheets and make a single line entry on the worksheet used to calculate the gain or loss. Please note you cannot use this feature when tracking assets using the totals method. In the video, I'm going to demonstrate using the automatic sell feature to calculate the gain or loss from a sale of an S Corporation trade or business asset, so that I can also show you the gain loss reporting options available for pass through returns. Select Federal, Category, Income Deductions, Worksheet, Business, and then Section 7, Other Depreciation and Amortization. Locate the asset that you want to sell in the summary grid, and then scroll to the right until you find the sale number and date sold columns. Enter a unique sale number, up to four digits, and the date in which the asset was sold. Navigate to the Gains and Losses worksheet. You will be presented with a summary grid for the gains and losses. Input the property type, we're going to use 1245. Scroll to the right and you will find the sale number. Enter the same sale number that was used on the depreciation input. Enter the sales price and also any selling expenses. Calculate your return, and the information that was on the depreciation schedule is auto-populated on the Gains or Losses worksheet. In all return types except for pass-through, the sold asset will appear on Form 4797 and flow to the main reporting form. If a pass-through entity, however, disposed of a Section 179 property during the tax year, the tax gain or loss on the disposition of Section 179 assets will not be reported on Form 4797 prepared by the pass-through entity. The information on the sale is reported on the Schedule K and K1 on a statement, and also a Schedule M1 adjustment is made for income recorded on the books not included in the return. If doing a bulk sale, all assets in the bulk sale will be treated in this manner. However, you can select to treat the Section 179 recapture as depreciation and report the gain or loss on Form 4797. Navigate to your worksheets. Select under the Income and Deductions category, Section 179, 280F Recapture, Section 1, and enter a check mark in Line 3. Calculate your return, and now you will have a Form 4797 reporting the sale. Thank you for viewing. I hope you have found this video helpful. For additional training resources, please click the link below to visit our webpage.